Welcome to a fun little Christmas project I got for you all. This is a game called Erica. It was released uh, last year, and it was a free download for PlayStation Plus around the same time that Among Us came out. And I played it, out of curiosity, and realized that it's a, it's a piece of garbage. Oh, just what I wanted for Christmas. Something with actual flavor. And that works. So, here's the thing. Oh. The entire game oh, no. is controlled with the touchpad on PS4. No, you can you, you can download a you can download a smartphone app and use it oh. that way. But everything is done with the touchpad. Oh no! So because I'm not going to download you know a finicky <laughs> nonsensical hotspot thing, uh, yeah. So okay, this is Erica. Uh huh. It is it is an interactive, okay. story based experience. Okay. It's to be played several times. We're just going to do one playthrough. But yes, this is an interactive story. Your choices form one of many perspectives. <laughs> no single path holds all the answers. Oh no! My, I, I got a couple problems with this game. First of all, they gave me the they gave me the task of uh, doing stuff, and that's never a good thing oh, when I'm involved. Jesus, no! <laughs> God, this is heavy rain all over again. Yep. Yep. Oh, just, oh, light the damn thing. There we go. Also, the entire game is live action. What? 100% of this game is live action. Get out of here. There's no way. There, yes way. It is all live action. Some people might even uh, recognize some of these actors from other BBC things. But I have several problems with this. First of all, live action in video games don't fucking work. They never do. They never will. And th this is the thing we learned in in the early '90s, and we're still thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a really dramatic and awesome game with live action." No, you're not going to do it. It's not going to work. It's terrible. Hey. Second. <laughs> no, get, keep going. Second. Uh, this is meant to be played multiple times. I was thinking of doing two playthroughs, but we can really only do one. Let's be honest. Oh my God! What are you doing? The story is nonsensical, and I, I I hate the characters. We'll get into into why as as it goes on. But uh, right right now we are we are uh, early in in our uh, characters' lives. We are Erica, of course. And I also hate this because this is one of those Sony games that is unbelievably pretentious. Oh, good! That's just what I wanted for Christmas. It is absolutely pretentious and nonsensical, and oh, it's not God. even all that artistic. Oh, good. So are, we're dealing with a uh, a foreign game, is what you're telling me. It, it is British, yes. It is British, okay. That's all right. The most domesticated of foreign things. Okay. You know, I'd like to, like to throw some defense for live-action games. Give me any live-action game where Tim Curry has a main role, <laughs> and I'm good. <laughs> Uh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll give you uh, Command and Conquer. Yes, give me Command and Conquer, and then that's it. So this is our this is our father, and he's showing us three photos of our mother. Mm -hmm. Tell each other stories. And this is, I guess, our first uh, puzzle. Oh puzzle? man! Things only she could see. So we got a picture of her as a nurse. Picture of. Uh, Mummy and Daddy getting married. The touchpad on the PS4 controller isn't even that big. How did they get away with this? Marked. Not very well. <laughs> like... Who could stare into the fire and see the future. Oh, no. And here she is pregnant with us. I used to tell her she was magic. Just like the priestess. So it was the first puzzle? Like, how were you born? Uh, the... But you're gonna have to prove it. So, Mummy was magic, and apparently we are pick too. Your photograph. Pick your favorite. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick this one. <laughs> Is this where we get branching paths? <laughs> For the alternate play? What? The picture moves! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now, close your eyes. Focus your mind. And conjure the power of <laughs> Oh my so he's gonna. He, so now he's gonna shuffle the, the pictures, put them face down, 
and we gotta find the picture that we chose. Okay. Which is always the same, so it's the middle one. Oh, it is? Okay. Yes. See, magic. You can get this wrong, though, and he just goes, Oh, disaster, and then the thing continues on. See, even though we're only doing one playthrough because even though it's supposed to be like branching storylines, there's not a whole lot of differentiation. Not really. So somehow, like, we have this mark of the butterfly, and that means that we have the power of the of the ancient priestess, which means we can stare into the fire what? and see the future. What? I don't know. No. Oh, oh the door is open. Let me just... Uh, damn it. Fucking door. God. Why don't you stay closed? Come on. Uh, fuck. Just... I knew if given the power, he would turn any protagonist into a bumbling oaf. Just moving around, not being able to do anything. I do it for two reasons. One, because because it's fun. Second, because if you give the player control, they will ruin your narrative. So, oh no, D Daddy Dearest has been Daddy Deadest. <laughs> I thought that was... Uh Oh, shit! Oh, that's, that's actually nasty. I thought she was gonna, like, you know, poke the buttons. <laughs> oh, no! Mommy's a serial killer! God, this reminds me so much of Phantasmagoria 2. <laughs> It is mom! <laughs> I, I, I think this is a lot more playable than Phantasmagoria 2, but it's not much better, because stuff happens in that game. Barely anything happens in this one. Oh, fa both Phantasmagoria games are the slowest fucking burns in the universe, but they eventually pay off. No pet rat here, apparently. Damn it! You know, gotta have the David Cage scene of being in the bathroom. <laughs> Turn the faucet, unleash the water, so that you may wash your face in the morning after a horrific nightmare. Boy, Niskel, don't you just feel so in the story now that you have to turn the faucet to let, I to am let her wash her face? I am extremely immersed. So, and hey, let's go one step further. Let's no. wipe the fog no. off the mirror. Oh my god. Don't you feel so oh immersed? <laughs> Isn't this just an absolutely fantastic game? I really feel like I am Erica Mason. You know, that was a matte painting for, like, point fu point 0.5 of a second. You can't fool me, Sony. What? Are these, uh, your, hair so. Are these your hairstyle choices? <laughs> See, I feel bad because this actress is actually pretty good. But they do nothing with her, and she looks like she's about to cry every 20 seconds. Well, then we are playing a David Cage game. I feel like David Cage is looking at this and like, Oh, yes, it is beautiful. It is the greatest game ever. Now, I, I could just see him, like, furiously writing notes. It's like, God, I knew I missed something in Detroit. Just some coughing lady. Hmm, that was a sick rave she was just at. Now I, can, I can either lock the door, or I can yeah. unlock and try and talk to this poor woman. <laughs> Could you keep it down? You should probably keep it. <laughs> Alright, good conversation. That added so much. I was expecting her to turn into a rage zombie, so I've... I don't know. Dear Diary, today my neighbor told me to fuck off. Look! It's the it's the photo that we chose from the beginning of the game! Oh! Branching narrative! Whoa! So this is Erica's little sketchbook. I guess she... Just, I mean, it's really heavy. I can't really open it. There we go. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just waiting for the, uh, the picture of the star to show up. The one that was... You know, sliced into her dad's sternum. 
Hansel. She takes careful strokes to make sure that what she does oh is perfect. She's drawing a smiley face. This shouldn't take three Needs hours. To be perfect. Do another <laughs> line carefully. Oh wait, carefully. is she drawing? Is she drawing that star shape? Did I just call it? Oh no. And then uh, careful. Oh, it just needs to be just so. I was right. Holy shit. And then we need to color, but only like a little bit. Just eh, 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 eh. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> she drew her father's murder. Oh no. God. I can't God, believe. She's... Is the game going to be this predictable the entire time? Probably. <laughs> Very subtle. Oh, wait, I'm in the UK, so that's just Frag Isle. Mm. Not suspicious at all, is it? Oh, my human heart came in from Amazon UK. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's blood. I don't want I don't want to look at it. God, did yeah. I call it again? And I guess I have to. Oh my god, human body parts! It's a human hand! Holding something! Oh my god, it's just the thing I drew! Sergeant. Ah! I'm Sergeant Blake. The so, our relationship with Sergeant Blake is one of the only ways where the path can actually diverge a little I bit. We can either cooperate with him fully, or we could not. Back. So we can either hand him the notebook, or just give him the page. He draw this a lot. It's Greek, isn't it? The Delphic Epsilon. How do you know that? Uh, I'll file. take your word for it. I'm just imagining, though, it cuts to a different camera angle of her actual bedroom with, like, covered in the images of that. You worked at Delphi House? I believe you visited there. Delphi well. House. Some sort of medical house what that uh, her father and some the guy named Lucian started together. So if you've ever seen Girl Interrupted, it should be familiar. Lucian Flowers. We think he might be a target too. Hmm, I'm here to exposit, just in case. Look, we're keeping watch over at Delphi House. Protection detail. I'll be leading the investigation from there. Right now, it's the safest place for you too. So leave your house and come to this mental hospital to stay here until uh -huh. we solve the case. Yeah, I've heard this song and dance before. You just want to put me in the straight jacket. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. So what year do you think this is? Um... Hmm. I cannot tell. Let's say... The 90s. That we have like these really high tech headphones that we were listening to earlier. Hmm. And oh, walking up to Delphi House. Oh, flashback o vision! Whoa! <laughs> it was like that one time that I came to Delphi House with Daddy! <laughs> okay. This is why it has a 69% on Metacritic. Flashback o vision? Hell yeah! 69, higher than I thought. Well, Push Square gave it an 8 out of 10. Whatever that. Why? Audience rating summary, 4.3 out of 5. So, so get this. Here's another divergence path. You can ring this bell up to three times, but then he's like, stop that. Mm. However, if you ring it once, he then goes, ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh, so... You, I can't <laughs> ring it several times, but you can? <laughs> Fuck off! Yeah, That's the divergence! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, here's a review. Fantastic. If you love interactive games like us, you'll love this one. Story no, is A++. No, Ooh, I'm no, not going to continue no, that. No, no, Don't let them lie to you. Some this people is, are complaining no. about the controls, but we used our cell phone and it worked great. 
<laughs> yeah, people say the cell phone is the best way because you have a bigger scope of control and, you know, it's more accurate than the fucking touch screen, touch well, pad this, on the It PS4. seems like they wanted you to use the controller, though. No, the, I mean, they they recommended using the smartphone app. And look around, 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 around. Why wouldn't you just make it a smartphone game, then? Because they have all this nice Sony money that they used to make a shitty BBC drama. Sony just gave them, like, 60 bucks and said, here, make a game. One thing I don't get is that this game is 40 gigabytes. 40 gigs?! Whoa! 40 fucking gigs for what is essentially a two-hour game. God damn! So you can either go down there to go with the girls, or you can pick up the phone. Another path of divergence, but it all leads to the same point. Eric and Mason, I've waited a long time to speak to you. What do you want with me? You're like your mother. That's what your father told them. He's not who you thought he was. He was my uncle? No, Bob's your uncle. I think that was a misprint. There was no space between Alani and Carter. He really was. Why should I trust you? You shouldn't trust anyone. Including me. Anyway, trust me. Yep, that was a typo. <laughs> Great. So I despise Erica Mason as a character. Because she... We don't know anything about her, yet we're supposed to feel for her. And throughout the entire plot, she's going to be taken by the arm everywhere she goes. Put, you know, she's dragged from her home to come to, to Delphi House. You know, go over here and do that. Come over here and do this. You stay here and do this. She has well, she has no con conviction as a character. Well, UDJ, her dad got sliced up by a Greek serial killer, and then some boy, trying to impress her, sent her a human hand. How can you not feel for this young lady? Yeah, I guess you're right. 10 out of 10. Polygon! FMV games are back, and they're good! No, they're not. Because I can do stuff like this. God, somebody had to record all of these different motions happening. Because I can tell when it goes, like, to game to real life. Like, this right now is game. And then it sw switches back to real life. So they were able to stealthily edit the imagery, which, you know, takes some technique. But it's, uh, it's kind of blatant here. It's like pretentious mist. Nah. Does that say Conquer? Sweet! He's over in the UK! Alright, so I uh, gotta use this pencil to figure out what that says. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> but I'm so happy you're playing this. Hmm. Are, you, are you just blowing away the mist? <laughs> nothing down there. Nothing up here. Uh, hmm. God, I, I, I just realized you got Erica, which means I get Quiet Man. God damn it. <laughs> I can't tell which one's worse because Erica, you have to play six times, but only once if you really want to. Five times, actually, if you do something right. <laughs> if you want the platinum, that is. Well, Quiet Man, you get to play twice. Just you, ha you have to play twice. You have twice. to play twice that so you know no, what the no fuck choice. is going on. You have to play twice. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, this is great sadness. And, uh, oh, uh, okay, I guess I'll read it like this. Uh, it's great sadness that we extend our condolences to you and your family. Tara was such a delightful girl. At the end, she faced challenges. Uh, true to her. <laughs> what the fuck? What uh, the hell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me, let me fl flip the flip the page. Excuse me, player, can you flip the piece of paper around? See, this is why I can't tell what year it is, because that's like a typewriter from, like, the fucking 50s. She put so... it back?! Yeah, she put it back! Why?! Because... Everything has to go exactly the way it was. 
take this I key, guess, though. But we're just about to take the key, yeah. Out fingers. Oh. Yeah, let's put everything back so the the demon people from the hallway earlier won't know that I was here. Alright, it's been a long time since I've played an FMV game. I really like the camera work in this one. Then why didn't they make it a movie? I don't fucking know, dude! Why didn't they, why didn't they make Sony it a money? Sony makes TV and movies. Well, yeah, they do. Oh, ho. it's a good thing we checked the desk first because now we have the key. And... Uh... Oh, I don't know. What? Well, uh, maybe we should. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Chunk. God, this is like me trying to pick locks in oblivion. All right, uh, Rosa Ballard, Gert Vance, Harriet Bliss, Elodie Carter. Aww. That's the thing we were supposed to look up. I thought we were supposed to find the file for Seymour Butts. Do I dare look? I don't nah. Do I? Uh, uh, but uh, it says classified! Or, sorry, admitted. This is our mother. Elodie Erica Mace. Oh, God, we're named after her mother's middle name. <laughs> Committed to inpatient ease by senior resident physician Peter Mason! <gasps> Daddy put mommy in the mental hospital! What? Is Why that ever would he do him? such a thing? Oh, oh no. no! So someone's coming. We go out the window. If he would have followed the girls, we would have wound up here. And we look over at this bush over here. It's a fox. <gasps> Aw, a little fox. It's supposed to be symbolic or some shit. Erica. Because foxes <laughs> always fight fight butterflies. Fight. Sorry, I, I didn't want to wait in there by myself. Excuse well, you're me. outside. I, you're not where I want you to be, so come on. Grab you by the arm and get back in here. Excuse me, officer. Have you ever heard of the origami killer? Are you them? Do you know what I think would have made this game a lot better, at least more tolerable? Multiple viewpoints. Take a little bit from Erica. Take a little bit from Inspector okay. Blake here. Go back and forth, you know? <laughs> Excuse me, I have to hide the fact that I'm a serial killer. Hey, uh, Sorry, that's my uh, white supremacist jail tattoo. To meet a Dr. Ballard. Oh, excuse me, this indicates that I'm a bad person. Please, let me hide it first. Sergeant Blake, I'm Rosa Ballard. I suppose you already know the Chief Inspector. Tackles her to the ground. I know you did it! <laughs> I'm sorry we're meeting in such difficult circumstances. Is there anything we can do to be What, I just got, mail I just got yeah. mailed a hand. It's yeah. It's okay. I, uh... Whatever I mean, saying. some dude wanted to give me a high five, and he took it way too literally. Like, I feel like her father should have died, like, a week ago, instead of back when she was a child, because what was she doing up until then? She has an apartment. Where does she work? What does she do? How much money does she make? How does she afford to stay there? I work. I know nothing about her. I used to look after you when you were little. You knew my parents. Of course. Oh, your yes. I got to see the last of your daddy's life drain away from his face. She was incredible. If you She's think also you're gonna, crazy. If you think this is going to be a whodunit as to who killed Erica's father, you can just... D don't. It's, don't. What? Anyway, it's not don't. even a whodunit? This is you. N no. It's, it's, it's not even a whodunit. It's not, oh, did the inspector do it? Did Dr. Ballard did it? No. It, it, we're we're going to find out. You know, it's, it's, it's just not... That dude. Mr. Steinbeck, the night manager, will be downstairs if you need anything. More flashback o vision! Whoa! Whoa! I remember when Daddy brought me in here to play his shitty record collection! Wow, look at all those pictures of artwork.
Don't you feel the emotion, though? I'm so glad Dad tolerated Mom, and until he sent her to the mental hospital. C click. Click. Hmm. Oh, hello! I am the record player from the future! Whoa! Hi, <laughs> Mr. Record Player! How are you doing? I am good. How are you today, Niskal? Oh, Listen to my fantastic. music now! <laughs> Game developers, please take note from this Let's Play of Erica. Never give Alter Director Jester, specifically Alter Director Jester, never give him control of your narrative. <laughs> <laughs> See, I take narrative very seriously, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, no, ACDC, Carpenters, Pretenders, uh, Psycho Killer. Oh, Aria for Delphi. Uh huh. This is apparently like what she meant when she said, follow the music. <laughs> God. If you, oh, don't, if you don't notice, this song has been playing twice already. This will be the third time we've heard this song. Oh, hold on. Have it playing the wrong way. She ends up playing it backwards. This person killed your dad. This song has nothing to do with anything. It's just, oh, my dad played this for me when I was a child. Wait, she's having a flashback. Hold on. Oh, what is it? Oh, such a oh, dusty desk. The, the oh, flashback just, vision. Let me just clean it up a little bit here. It's just, yeah. yeah, hang on, hang on. Get over there, get over here. Oh, I can use two fingers. Okay, okay. Just gotta. Oh my god, that's awesome. And, oh, Erica. It's, uh, it says Erica, but there's so much dust. I remember when I carved this into the desk for some reason. <laughs> Fuck you, Daddy! You bought this instead of buying me a toy! It's got my name on it, so the desk is mine now! He's about to throw her out the window. <laughs> this is the one thing she remembers. So Uncle Lucian, the, the head of Delphi House, got me a present. Wow! Oh, and look! He got you another human hand, just in case you lose yours. How did I know it was going to be a doll? Because it's obviously a doll. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I can't work this stupid thing. Daddy, help me. This is the church. This is the steeple. So while messing around, I realized that's terrifying, this camera angle that I just got here. Oh, I love the depth of field when you open it. Oh, it's horrifying. In the garbage it goes. Look at her arm. <laughs> oh. It looks just like you! <laughs> it's just like you. Yeah, except for the eyes and the hair and, and the face and the it's, uh, and the fact that the mark is on the wrong part of the body, but it's just like you! Oh, god damn this door! <laughs> Can't- it just won't stay shut! Oh, stay! Shut go! Ah, fuck it. <laughs> oh no, Daddy died again! How's this keep happening? No! No, oh, first I get sent to- but, but this time he's alive? <laughs> Is this because you rang the bell more than one time? <laughs> Why did you answer the phone, Eric? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Duh. When did I fall asleep? I, I thought I was looking at a desk, but now I'm asleep. Is, is this Inception? How many times have you had to wake up from the same nightmare? Well, certainly have a lot to unpack here, I'm, I'm, I'm oh sure. <laughs> but now begins our first day at Delphi House, and we'll be dealing with that next time on Let's Watch Erica. I, I think I might secretly love this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious.